What the world really needs is of course another Mai Tai video from me and today we're gonna make an apple pie Mai Tai and the recipe comes from Patreon member Matthew who came up with this recipe and he is also the moderator of the Make and Drink Discord. That's right, we have a Discord. I didn't wanna do it, but he talked me into it. For this one, we're going to use cinnamon syrup, allspice dram, pecan orgeat, lime juice, apple brandy, and a demerara rum. And that makes this a great time to talk about apple brandy versus apple jack and the differences between the two. So all brandy is fruit based. It's a spirit made from fruit. And we usually think of grapes. That's what's in your typical brandy or cognac, but you can use other fruits like pears or even apples. Apple jack, on the other hand, is not necessarily an apple brandy because it's often not made from just apples. The only thing more American than apple pie is apple Jack. While currently there is a rum distillery at Mount Vernon, George Washington never made rum and instead he made Apple Jack. And the current brand you see, Laird's, made Apple Jack for Washington and the Continental Army. They've been making Apple Jack since the late 1600s. The way it was historically made was to take fermented apple cider and to let it freeze in the winter. The ice would freeze and the remainder was in apple brandy. The result would be a spirit not quite high enough in proof, so they would add in something else, like a neutral grain spirit of some kind. Now that combination of an apple brandy and a neutral grain spirit is how Applejack is made today and why it's technically not an apple brandy because it's a blend of apple brandy and that neutral grain spirit. The name is also super cool. The process of freezing to increase the alcohol content is called jacking, jacking up the alcohol content, hence the name Apple Jack. If you go shopping today, you'll probably see a few Apple brandy options and Laird's makes two, Apple Jack or straight Apple brandy. The straight Apple brandy is bottled in bond, which is 100 proof and 100% Apple brandy. So there's no neutral grain spirits in this one. The straight apple brandy is preferred in this recipe, but apple jack would work here if you can't find the other bottle. We'll build this in a small shaker tin, starting with three drops of a saline solution, a quarter ounce of cinnamon syrup, quarter ounce of allspice dram, half an ounce of a pecan orgeat, three quarter ounces of lime juice, one ounce of apple brandy or apple jack, and one ounce of a demerara rum, and I'm using Hamilton 86 here. Garnish with that spent lime shell, some mint, and some apple slices. There you go, the apple pie Mai Tai. Let's try the apple pie Mai Tai. So right away, I like this better than the cranberry pecan Mai Tai. The pecan orgeat in here, I think it's just like all orgeats in Mai Tais to me, unless you use a ton of orgeat, it gets kind of lost. So I like that we're using it here. I don't think it's totally necessary to use a pecan orgeat, but what makes this interesting and unique is, is there is a ton of spice. You can taste the allspice dram. You can taste the cinnamon for sure. And then those apple notes come through in the apple brandy, but you still get that rum flavor from the Hamilton 86. This is great. And I don't think I'd probably change anything here. Uh, I might, you might want to make this and then think about maybe 
bumping up the lime juice a little bit. It, it's not too sweet right now. You get tons of spice, but really the predominant flavor you're getting, it's cinnamon, apple, and rum. And those are things that go together extremely well. So great job to Matthew. He went through a bunch of iterations of this uh, to land on this recipe. And what I think I like about this the most is we're not putting in like crazy holiday things here. It's, you know, a basic tropical tiki cocktail. It, the spices work well when it's in the colder months. And, you know, it's not an apple pie in a glass, which is not what I want. But you're taking hints of apple pie with the cinnamon and the apple flavor and the richness from your apple brandy and your Demerara rum. It all works together extremely well. So if you're looking for a holiday cocktail, um, this is it right here. The apple pie Mai Tai. So that's it for this one. I'm Derek, this is Making Drink. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like below, consider subscribing to the channel, and otherwise, see you on the next one.